this has been such a crazy ride the last three or four years, you know, and, and, and it, it's, it's so weird, the situations that I get put in. You know, so I was hosting a car show, Petro Hedonism Life, and, you know, we had Sam Hard, Richard Rollins, Tavares was there, Fred, like I said, Freddie was there, Shmi 150 was there. I mean, that guy's just, he's just cool. I don't, I don't know. That guy's just, he's just too cool for school. Like, I literally straight up had an Elvis moment with him. We were there at this event, and I love buying cars. I love it. Almost to the point of a sickness. I, I, I just, I like to buy things. I love buying things. I made really fast friends with Freddie Hernandez, Tavares, there, as we're walking around the show. You know, we're doing meet and greets and stuff like that. So me and him, in between this, we're just walking around. He's like, man, you know, that's a this, this, and this. And man, look, that's a this, this, and this. This show had a little bit of everything. There's a thousand cars here. He found out about a BMW M3. He said, I'm going to try to buy it. I'm like, I'm like a kid that, like, dropped his ice cream cone. He's buying a car, and I'm not. I want a car. But I couldn't find any of the Mr. Bean cars that I liked. Good enough to drag across the pond. So I'm sitting in my hotel, scrolling. I'm on so many different forums and whatever pages on Facebook, but there was one, it was about show trucks. And this gorgeous example of a 90 show truck pops up. Peach, purple, graphics, three spoke wheels on it. Peach leather interior. Sport truck magazine centerfold truck. I mean, I'm literally aroused at this point. And I mean, it's, it's just killer. Well, keep in mind, I've got one bar service. I'm 8,000 miles away. This truck's in Burbank, California. And so I walk outside to get a little bit of service. I sent the guy a message and said, call me, exclamation point, phone number. I'm standing outside smoking cigarettes. Freddie walks out. He goes, what are you doing? So I'm trying to buy a damn truck. And then Travis Bell calls me to see how I'm doing. I'm waiting on this guy to call. Everybody's calling me, but who I need to call me. Travis said, what are you doing? So I'm standing on a picnic table trying to buy a Chevrolet truck. And he's like, I'll let you go. Talk to you later, Travis. Beep. California's calling. What's going on, bud? He's like, barely hear you. I said, yeah, I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. He goes, where are you at? He said, I'm not real sure. I said, tell me about that truck. I asked him a few key things. 40,000 actual miles. My dad built it. Yada, yada, yada. It's absolutely perfect. It's been a really cool storage. This, 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 and this. I asked him just a few little choice things. And I said, you got all the stuff from when it was in the sport truck magazine and all that stuff? He said, yes. He says this. And I said, will you take this for it? Uh, I don't know if I can do that. And I said, I can give you a deposit right now. I can have a wire to you in the morning. You'll get paid in 30 minutes for the balance. And I said, I'm buying it side and saying, I don't need to come look at it. I don't need to come touch it. Anything. I said, and you'll be paid. And I will send transport to pick this thing up. And he goes, man, that's crazy. I said, yeah, that's what I do. And he goes, Okay, I'll do it. I said, text me your PayPal information. I'm literally standing at the top of this picnic table. 3G service. I don't know how the hell we ever survived here with that. I sent a deposit on it. He said, got it. Yes. So now I got how I'm going to get this damn truck back. I've got several transporters that work for me. And I've got transporters that are good East Coast guys. I got transporters that are good local guys. I got transporters that I can send out like Texas. And bring them back. And then I got some cross country transport guys. And I mean, you got a truck that's literally a time capsule. So you don't want this thing hanging off the back of an open trailer. You know, I mean, it's never been rained on, it's never been anything. Like all these things, I mean, this truck has always been loved and cared for and driven just enough to keep it roadworthy. I mean, just enough 40,000 miles on a 94 truck. And I mean, just immaculate. I mean, like, Everything about it checks all the boxes. And I'm such a child of the 90s anyway. I mean, this is takes me right back to high school. You know, I'm just like, how am I going to get it? So I've got a guy that does transport for me. This is kind of a funny story in itself. So my cross-country transport guys are buttermilk and sweet milk. It's two brothers. They're team drivers. And they've got, you know, Dodge Ram, you know, big 3,500 Ram, you know, big two-car enclosed. And their team, I mean, they don't stop. That truck stops for fuel. And they eat while they're doing that. They swap drivers and keep going. The truck never stops. And they're great guys and I love them. I mean, I've sent them out on numerous calls. And these guys, if they're doing it, you don't have to worry about it. That, that's the one thing I love about these guys. I called them. I said, sweet milk. He goes, damn, Rob, I can barely hear you. You must be up in Tennessee. I said, I'm a little further out than that. 
He goes, you must be up in the mountains. I said, hell, there might be mountains out here. Hell, I don't know where I'm at right now. Anyway, I said, just bought a truck in Burbank, California. He goes, crazy. I'm in L.A. right now. And I said, you got one more spot in your wagon? He goes, yeah, actually, I was, I'm was. i bringing one car back. So I got a, one spot. I said, now you don't. And I said, I'm going to text you an address, and I'm going to send you to go pick it up tomorrow in the morning. He goes, all right, that's perfect. Got the guy, got the wire set up, got the address, sent it to him. The truck almost beat me back. I flew in the following Wednesday back. So this was on a Tuesday. I flew back on a Wednesday Buttermilk and sweet milk pulled in. I was at the warehouse. I hadn't even been home yet. I got home from the airport. I was at the warehouse. They were two hours behind me, and they drove cross, cross country. You would think Ed Bowling had a transport service at this point. I mean, that was impressive. I mean, if I want to do the cannonball, these guys are going to be my team drivers. But truck, they unloaded it. And you know, the thing is, I didn't want to ask a bunch of questions. They're not sport truck guys. I mean, these dudes are old school, obviously, with names like that. So I'm itching. I want to see this thing. You know, you see this big gray enclosed trailer come rolling up, and they open the door on this thing, and it is absolutely perfect in every way. And that's the thing. It's crazy. I mean, this thing has been in heated and cooled storage. There's children that don't live in nicer surroundings as this truck has sat in its entire life. And it was built to be a show truck since day one. We got build pictures. We've got Everything. I mean, this thing is literally like something that go in the damn Peterson Museum, and it's at the Rabbits Used Cars. I am literally salivating. They fired it up. It's got the center exhaust. It's actually got a Corvette engine in it when they built it. I mean, this is some wild stuff. Four wheel disc brakes. I mean, this truck is custom as it comes. Custom with a K. This thing. I mean, it's just like literally. I have like the Saved by the Bell theme song in my head. It has the original stereo. It's got Orion 12s. When's the last time you've seen Orion speakers in general? It's got Orion 12s in it. And they work. And probably the world's oldest Bluetooth Kenwood head unit. And it shocked me when it had the little Bluetooth thing pop up. It actually, it took it about 10 minutes. But it synced with my iPhone. Because God knows I don't have CDs anymore. Do you imagine listening to the Chronic album? Listening to Snoop Dogg in your 90s truck through 90s Orion's, and this thing hits. I love it. I actually picked up a friend of mine who's as old as I am, and he said, where the hell did you get this thing at? And do you want to sell it? I said, California, no. And we went to lunch in this thing, and everybody, I mean, obviously it sticks out like a turd to punch bowl. You're riding around on a peach truck. But I love it, man. And I'll be honest with you, and this is something that you won't hear come out of my mouth very often. I've been offered good money for this thing. Like, Two times. I've had two people that were strong contenders in buying it. And I told them no. I don't know. I ain't saying I won't ever sell it. But right now, it's got a home with daddy. So I'm kind of in love with it. You know what? I'm reliving my childhood. I, I, I love it. You know, and, I, and now I don't feel so bad. Like I got something bought back to the store in the UK. Freddie bought his BMW. Yeah, whatever. Steering wheel's on the wrong side. I guess you can deliver the mail with it. I've got the baddest damn show truck on the planet. When you get a ticket, no matter where it happens, it's more important than ever to fight every one. And the perfect partner in that fight is the Ticket Clinic. When you get a ticket, you're facing costly insurance, premium increases, points on your license, fines, risk of suspension, jail time, and they can help you avoid all of that. They've got offices in Florida and in California, but they can help you fight a ticket through their network of attorneys no matter where in the United States you get one. You can text a picture of your ticket to 305305, or you can check them out now at the link in the description below. So thank them for their support of Venwiki, of Car Trek, and fight your ticket with the Ticket Clinic.